All right, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, so, got got some plans here for this thing. Um, I'm wanting to get this project done fairly quickly. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to replace the water pump and timing belt because the water pump's bad on this engine. The engine's good, but just needs the water pump. And you gotta take the timing belt off anyway, so I got the whole kit for that. Got the tensioner and the belt here. And then there's the water pump. So yeah. That's the plan. So, I'm gonna go pick up supplies and go see about finding some paint. Yeah. Eating my sushi with my fingers because I didn't get chopsticks for some reason. My friend came up with the bright idea. I don't, I don't know why I didn't think about it and still forgot about it, but I can probably take the alternator and the compressor off here and get to the crank pulley to get it off and the timing cover so that I can replace the water pump and timing belt. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that a try. And uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll just take the engine out and do it. Yeah. Shit is sticky. Sticky icky. <laughs> Alright, well, this isn't gonna be obviously not going to be like a uh, in-depth how-to, but I figured I would kind of show you a, a little bit, you know, a general idea of what you have to do to do a uh, timing belt and water pump on a 93 Subaru Sambar four-wheel drive. So yeah, um, basically all I had to do was take off the alternator and the AC compressor uh, took the brackets off with them just to give me a little bit more room I would suggest doing that but uh, also there's this little plastic cover it uh, goes in this area here and yeah you take that and the wheel off then you can get in here um, I may have even been able to do this with the uh, AC compressor and alternator on but you know this gives me a lot more light and I was able to get in here and kind of clean some of this up so that's good and I'm also gonna do if I end up painting this truck I'm gonna do like a uh, price breakdown and just see how cheap I can do it for well making it nice and doing a good job but yeah oh yeah hey Google pause um, so also let's see if I can get this uh, on camera there are some timing marks on the crank pull here and I already used a small extension to put in the uh, number one cylinder yeah uh, check for top dead center and I'm pretty sure that this mark is like TDC mark it's the one furthest to the left and if you notice the other three marks are spaced a little bit further apart from that one so that also tells me that that's uh, the zero mark yeah so 
about to use this impact and this bolt off the crank pulley. Well, I was afraid this might happen. Uh, the compressor that we have over here, this little one back here, is just not strong enough to do crank pulley bolts and other strong bolts like that. So, guess I'm gonna have to take this thing over to the other side and use the big, big compressor. Fun. crank pull it a little bit so I'm just going to put it back in and turn the pulley back but you know, it'll zip right off now that it's been taken off.
take it back over to the other side. You think it could bump and slide off? Yeah. truck back over here now I got the crank pulley off I just have to take the little 10 millimeter bolts off around the timing cover take that off then I should be able to remove the tensioner and remove the belt and then I should have access to the water pump uh, I've never done this before I'm just assuming but hopefully I'm right <laughs> timing covers off Gonna put a wrench on the tensioner because I got one right here. Couldn't do that with one hand. <laughs> I've never seen a tensioner like this with the teeth on it. Interesting. Yeah, the water pump is a smooth side pulley in here. Interesting. Timing belt still looks good, really. But. Yeah, actually, this thing looks freaking new. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and replace it since I got it. Alright, get that pulled off. And clean up the mating surface and get some RTV. Well, actually, I got Honda Bond. So that's, that's some good stuff. Alright. I got the bolts for the water pump out and yeah, I'm about to start prying on that. All right, here's the water pump I just pulled out. You can see. It's 
seized. So that's why it needed to be replaced. Uh, as well as the belt, because the belt was slipping on that, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull this thing out again and see if I can flush out some of the coolant or water, whatever the fuck's in there. Pretty much just gonna let it run until the water's clear coming out the other side. Oops. Clean. Nasty. <laughs> Got the water pump mating surface all cleaned up and I believe I'm ready to put the new one on. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty easy. I don't have to use any kind of silicone. It has a gasket o-ring kind of thing. So, yeah. Pop it in. Get the timing belt on. This thing really doesn't have much in the way of timing marks. Looks like maybe this uh, dimple lines up with the casting piece that sticks out there. But the cam, I can't see any kind of markings on it really. Oh, well. There is a small mark. Let's see if I can. Yeah. So, if you can see, there's a gap in the plastic there, and it lines up with this little mark that you can barely see there. <laughs> Alright. It's time. For the new pump to go in. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, hold on. There's some little pieces that go on. I'm gonna clean these up. Kind of nasty. Got the new water pump and timing belt tensioner on and what I did was I put the spring on and then used the ratchet extension and tensioned the pulley up or the tensioner up um, and then I'm gonna slide the belt on should be able to then I can loosen that so that it creates the tension and we're good to go.
Pretty good to me. All right, well, I got everything back together already. Sorry, I didn't really go into detail on everything, but basically, all you have to do is take this wheel off, and there's an access panel right here. That's uh, a few 10 millimeters, and you can take that off and access everything you need to do the water pump and timing belt. Um, taking the AC and alternator off probably isn't necessary, but it, I think it made it easier. But yeah, so got oil in it, everything's tight, back together. And got some coolant in here. Calling it a night. Uh, finish this up tomorrow and I'll see you then. Just doing a little sim driving. I'm on the Lone Star Seto uh, server. Well, one of them. I got three going right now, but yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely the best server to get on. 